Hi there, I'm Michael Ralph, and today we're going to be talking about the catalase lab. We're going to be working with everything you see right here, most notably hydrogen peroxide, yeast, and filter paper. The first thing we're going to need to do is set up two solutions. The first solution is going to be your hydrogen peroxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide is sold in 3% in any general store or grocery store. You can then dilute that down to any preferred percentage. This particular sample is 1.5%. The second solution is our yeast suspension. You're going to need to open up one of these packets of yeast. This is fast rising yeast. It's available, again, in any grocery store in the baking section. Pour some of that into a sample of water and mix it up. And we've got a suspension of our yeast. The next thing we need to do is take our hole punch and some filter paper, and we're going to need to punch some holes into this filter paper. Once we've punched our holes, the holes aren't so much what we're interested in as the disc itself. So take some forceps and take the disc that comes from punching a hole, and the first thing we're going to need to do is get it good and saturated with yeast. Next, have your timer get ready and we're going to put it into our hydrogen peroxide solution. The moment it hits the surface of the hydrogen peroxide, start the timer. Go. As you can see, it starts to sink. And as the oxygen builds up from catalase doing its work, it's going to be trapped in that disc and it'll become buoyant again. And you can see it goes down and it's now back at the surface. We'll stop the timer when it gets back to the surface. That's really all there is to the basic procedure. From here, you can manipulate any number of variables, including the temperature of either solution, the concentration of your hydrogen peroxide, or I'm sure anything else. The limit is really only your imagination. Good luck.